welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute Valentine's Day wreath using a sign from Dollar Tree, mesh and ribbon from Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and these foam hearts from Walmart. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Alrighty y'all, let us get started. So first off, what you're going to need is a 14 inch wreath form. This came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to lay that right over there. You're also going to need one of these cute little glittery, and I mean very glittery, this stuff is very sparkly. One of these red truck Valentine's Day signs. This also came from Dollar Tree. And you're going to need some mesh and ribbon. And the mesh that I'm using, of course, from Dollar Tree is their Valentine's Day mesh, six inches wide by five yards long. Now, this white one here, it has some red metallic threading type stuff running through it. Get over there. Running through it. I really like that as opposed to just plain white. And then here is the pink. And it also has a darker pink metallic thread running through it. You're going to need three rolls of pink and three rolls of white for a total of six rolls. All right, let's move that off to the side. And you're going to need some ribbon. This ribbon from the Dollar Tree, nine feet on each spool. I've got two spools, and that should be plenty for this wreath. Like I said in previous videos, you know sometimes with the Dollar Tree stuff, you can't really guarantee that there's going to be nine feet or six feet five yards whatever the package says you can't always guarantee that so i do the best that i can when i tell y'all how many to use now this red sparkly ribbon this came from dollar general i believe yeah dollar general of course it was still a dollar and i have two rolls of that you're also going to need a Thought I heard my cat make a noise. You're going to need a hot glue gun and glue sticks. You're going to need pipe cleaners and scissors. So what we're going to do is I want to put ribbon on this wreath on every third cluster that I make. Okay, because in another container, I have some foam hearts and stuff from Walmart. And I think I may want to go back after I get all this put on there and put some of those little foam hearts on. And I don't want a ton of ribbon on this. Okay. So to make our little clusters, you're going to take your mesh with the short end facing you and just roll it over on itself just a few times until you get a little tube and then cut it like this. And we're going to cut three pieces like this. Now see these scissors are starting to squeak again. I use these little things so much. As somebody said one time, uh, um, your squeaking scissors was hurting my ears. No, it's not. <laughs> it is not that loud. Come on now. All right, so we have three pieces of mesh, and now we're going to cut our ribbon. So for the ribbon, I always cut it to one and a half times the length of the mesh. This is six inch mesh, so you want to cut your ribbon to nine inches long and cut that piece there. And now I'm also going to cut a piece of red to go with it. Let's see, like that, like that. Okay, now we're just going to cut a little V in the end of our ribbon. Put it over there. Why do we do this? Because that makes it look better. All right, do the same thing on this piece here. Like that. Let's cut it here. Okay, now you're going to take a pipe cleaner and you're going to cut it in half. And then you're going to take that half and fold it into a little V. Now to make our cluster, we're going to take one part, one part, <laughs> one piece of our mesh and just roll it up and clamp it like this between your fingers. Now if this hurts your hands, you can use a hair clip, you know, like one of those long, like a penguin clips. One of those, you can use a clothespin. Whatever helps you to hang on to the little darlings. All right, so now we're gonna roll them, roll them, roll them. Like this. Now we're going to take our ribbon with the pretty side facing up. See, it looks kind of similar, but this side is a little bit brighter. But the pretty side of facing up and then layer on our piece of glittery ribbon. And then you're going to put that in with your little bundle with the pretty side facing your fingertips and then take your pipe cleaner and just wrap it around everything. Try to make sure everything is as centered as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
Just get it kind of close. And there's our little cluster, just like that. All right, so now we're going to take this cluster and attach it to our wreath form. Now we're just gonna be working around these two pieces here. Not these, not these, the two in the center. Just take your pipe cleaner and wrap it around just like that. Okay, and there is a cluster. Yeah, it's gonna look kind of raggedy <laughs> until you get a couple of these sections filled in. So don't worry about what it looks like right now. And I usually don't worry about fluffing up my ribbon and everything until I get all of these put on. Then I go back and fluff it all out and try to make it look nice, okay? I'm just trying to get it into place so that y'all can see it. Okay, so there's that. Now for the next one, I'm going to make a cluster in the same way, but without ribbon, okay? Without ribbon, so just make another one using the pink, and then we're going to alternate. Pink, white, pink, white, well, white and red. <laughs> pink, white, pink, white. And I think like every third one or so, I'll put one with ribbon. So you're gonna have a cluster with ribbon, two without, one with ribbon, two without, all the way around. So I'm gonna work on that. And then let me get one section filled up and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. And then I'll finish working on the whole shebang. Okay, so this is what one section looks like all full. And just like the majority of my other mesh wreaths that I make in this same manner, style, whatever you wanna call it, I have 10 clusters. And then you just go back and just space them out a little bit like that. Alrighty. So there is your 10 clusters, and then once I'm done with the whole wreath, I just go back and I trim off the pipe cleaners down to the part where it starts twisting together. And that is what we have so far. Like I said, it's going to look better and better the more mesh that you get put on here. This one here, like I said, had the ribbon, and then I put two without ribbon, two without ribbon, just alternating colors, pink, white, pink, white. All right, so I'm going to continue working on this entire wreath. I'm going to get it all filled up, and then we'll put on the sign, and I'm going to dig through my box in here and find some little embellishments to go on here. I don't know what I want to go on here yet, but I'll find something. All right, I'll see y'all here in a minute. Okay, so my wreath, all of the mesh and ribbon, has been put on, and it's lying over here. But before we do that, let's take a look and see how much ribbon I have left. And as you can see... I started off with two spools of ribbon. Each one of them was nine feet long and I used about one and a half rolls, spools, whatever you want to call it. So two is going to be plenty for this. Okay, now we're going to attach this sign just like I do most other signs and most of my other wreaths. I took one whole pipe cleaner and at the halfway point here, I just put like a big old blob of hot glue, stuck it down put a little bit more hot glue on top of it. And I did that at four points. And you'll see when I lay it on the wreath, kind of why I didn't put one here or here because you're probably gonna see it because it's longer than it is tall, of course. So I just put those at four points. Now look in here, this is one of my humongous pet peeves. You see these little holes here? I hate leaving those holes. So I got these little rhinestone stickers. I think these came from, yeah, Dollar General. These came from Dollar General. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna stick one. Let's see how much, now these are not very sticky at all. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of hot glue and I'm gonna stick that right there just to cover up those holes. Now let's do another one. Okie dokie. That turned out okay. Oops, I got a little bit of glue right there. I don't want you there. You know what? I'll have to go back and try to take that off later. Once it's cooled down, it's easy to just pop right off there. Okay, so those little hearts have covered up the holes. Now, let's get the wreath over here. This is what I have. So, it's going to take me a minute to wrestle with this sign to get the pipe cleaners down in here to fasten them on. So, I'm not going to do that on camera because it's going to take me a few minutes. But see, once we lay the sign down, then you can see kind of at the bottom here, if you were to put a pipe cleaner there and up top, you're probably going to be able to see it right there, you know, 
from certain angles, you'll be able to see it. So I'm just going to keep them right there. And the way I attach it is you just take the pipe cleaners and apart the mesh. And then you just run it down in between your mesh clusters and the two inner rings. Just wrap your pipe cleaner around that and give it a few good twists in the back. Okay, so there is that. And I'm still not going to mess with fluffing up my ribbons until I get some of these other decorations put on. And then as I put them on and as I go... Then I will fluff up the ribbons and of course I'll go back and trim off all of the little stragglies from the mesh. All right, so there's that. Now for other decorations, I have these boxes of styrofoam hearts and I got these at Walmart. How much were they? They, they were really inexpensive. Excuse me, I wanna say that they were like $2.88. They were really cheap and you get 13 pieces. You see, they're really sparkly. They have different types of glitter on them. Some boxes were red and pink. So you can see this one was red and white. So I kind of want to get a good mixture of red, pink, and white hearts. And I'm just going to hot glue them all around the wreath. And it'll take me a while to get all of the little hearts out and placed. Let's see, there's a bigger one. There's a small one. Here's some of the red ones. Let's take a look at the white one over here because the white one, one of these looks different. One of these hearts is not like the other one. So let's take the ribbon off and open this up. You see, they're all, why are you not opening? To get on my nerves. All right. That's got like some fine sparkle with some bigger pieces. And then these have like little, like little specks, little oval shaped flecks of glittery looking stuff but these boxes look to be the majority of them are red and then you get just a few of the other colors but to attach these i'm just going to use my hot glue gun that has a big glob on it <laughs> my hot glue gun and i'm going to put some on the back of the heart and then just lay it down different places until i'm happy with how it looks so i'm going to work on that and then I'll take another short little clip of a video. You've already seen the thing at the beginning of the video, but I'll do another little short one so that you can get another glimpse of how I put the little hearts on. I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, there we go. I think I'm going to call that done. And I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> you can see I just scattered the little hearts around. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. I just put them where I thought they were cute and then glued them down. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.